So let's get started with identity based policies. So the policy that we attach to our demo user. Okay, that was identity based policy. So it can, as the name suggests, can be attached to some identity. And what are identities? Identities are nothing but user groups or any kind of roles that we create on AWS. So these policies can be attached to them. We have two types of identity based policies again, customer managed and AWS managed. So when we are having AWS managed policy, again, we have two types of policies here, service access or job function. What are service access policies? These are created on a specific service base. Like if you want to give EC2 full access, right? So that would be under service access. If you want to create a policy for some administrators, so administrator will require the permissions for, you know, many of the services. So instead of individually attaching multiple policies to administrator, AWS has already created some policies according to the job role, like admins. Or for developers, we have power user policy. So all the, all the services which are generally required by the developers would be having the permission under this power user policy. Then we have the custom policy where we can create our own policies. If any of these AWS managed policy do not fulfill our requirement, then we can go with this custom policy and create our own policies. The thing about AWS managed policy is they cannot be edited or deleted. Whereas you can edit your customer managed policies and you can also delete those. The next topic is example of identity based policies. So policies are always into the JSON document. Okay. So this is the example. There are different components of the policies like version, effect, action, resource, and condition. So version would be when that policy is created. Okay. This is the example of AWS managed policy. So it is created in 2012, 17th October. Under which we do have the statement which defines that what this policy is basically doing. You can have multiple statements over here. Under effect, you can either have allow or deny. So you can allow some actions or you can deny some actions using the policy. So this policy basically is allowing some action. So what action are being allowed? Starting the instances and stopping the instances. So I can start and stop the instances. Okay, what is the resource? Now, this is identity based policy. So, identity based policy would be attached to either user, group, or role. So, let's say I have Roy and I have this policy attached to Roy. So, Roy would be able to start and stop the EC2 instances. And what is the resource that we are looking for? We are looking for EC2 instances in all of the regions. Okay. All the EC2 instances can be start and stopped. Okay. Other actions on EC2 can be to terminate the EC2 instance, to reboot the EC2 instance. But these are not allowed over here. We, Roy can just start or stop. He cannot terminate because that action is not being uh, mentioned over here. Next is condition. So we can also have some condition. This is the optional parameter. Okay, if you want to put, you can put it or else you can leave it. So what are the conditions that we are talking here is? We apply tags to our resources. Suppose we are creating the EC2 instance. Okay, we can apply a tag to it. What is a tag? It is nothing but name value pair. So here it is saying that if the resource tag if the EC2 instance is having a tag which is having the name as owner and value as AWS username, that is Roy. If the owner of that EC2 instance is Roy, then only he can start or stop the instances. So all the instances which are being created by Roy, only those instances can be start or stopped by him. That is what this policy is defining over here. 